As you know, Illustrator has a variety of different types of graph tools, things for making like pie charts and column charts, but what if you want to create something that Illustrator doesn't have? Keep in mind that you always have the power to create anything that you want, and you can use the basic tools that Illustrator has to create something far more sophisticated. Take this for example, I'm going to create a new document, click OK, doesn't really make a difference what size it is. I'm going to start by creating maybe a pie chart here. So let me select my line graph tool. Remember, I can actually create just about any type of chart from anything, so it doesn't make a difference which one I choose, but I know I'm gonna create a pie chart, so let's choose pie graph here. Let me click once and maybe make it three by three. Click OK. I'll import some data here from my exercise files in chapter three. I'm gonna choose this US Energy Production 2011 and click Open. Let me apply that, and now I have this here. Let me close this for a moment. Let's say I want to create a donut chart and not a pie chart. Illustrator doesn't have a donut chart tool, but if you think about it, all a donut chart is is a pie chart without the middle. In other words, I could simply take this and ungroup it. Command Shift G or Control Shift G allows me to ungroup something. So I'll go ahead and I'll ungroup it. Let me get rid of the legend that I have here. I'll use my direct selection tool and just simply select all those and delete it. Next, I'm going to take a simple ellipse tool, start from the center, and Option Shift drag outwards. Now, I'll take both of these elements and I'll press Shift M for my Shape Builder tool and I'll Option click and drag on these middle areas to remove them. So now, I've created my donut chart. I started with a simple pie chart and ended up with the effect that I was looking for. What about if you want to create something like a custom shape? Well, how about this? Let me delete this for a moment. Let me create like a polygon shape. I'll choose the polygon tool and I'll click and drag and let's say I want to use a triangle. I'm going to tap the down arrow on my keyboard while my mouse button is still down and that allows me to create a triangle. I'll hold down the shift key and that will give me a nice straight triangle right here and I want to split this up proportionally according to the data that I might have inside of a graph. So I'm going to start by creating a graph. In this case I'll use a stacked bar graph tool and I'll click once Again, it doesn't really make a difference what size I'm dealing with here, but I'll choose a width of three inches and maybe a height of two inches. Once again, I'll import the same data as before, that US Energy Production 2011 data. Let's go ahead now and map that. And you can see that basically, this is now showing 100% split up proportionally into the areas based on my data. So I can now take this and use it the way that I want to. I'm simply gonna go ahead now and ungroup this. Choose Object Ungroup click yes. I use my direct selection tool to basically take just this part of the data which I want. I'm going to hold down my option key here and I'm going to basically hold down my shift key and drag across all these. So right now I'm holding down option shift or alt and shift. That selects these. I'm going to press command X to put them on my clipboard. Now I'm going to delete everything else here and then paste this back again. I can stretch this any way that I want to. It's always going to be in proportion to what I created. I really just want to do this to get an idea about how I should split up my triangle. So I'm going to resize this to match the width of my triangle. And then I can press Command R or Control R to show my rulers. And then I could drag guides out that will again snap to the boundaries of each of the steps inside of this chart. Well, it's actually no longer a chart anymore. But in doing so, I can now actually see how I can split up or basically break apart my triangle to match the proportions of the data that was in my chart. So as you can see, Illustrator, just simply as a graphic design tool, has this incredibly powerful graph feature. But you don't have to feel pressure that you have to actually wrangle with the graph feature itself. You can use it to create some very basic artwork and then simply use it to generate your own artwork to your own specifications. Let your creativity run wild. Don't try to force the graph tool to do everything. Rather, Use it for your own evil purposes and create the most beautiful graphics that you always knew that you were capable of here inside of Illustrator.